Many of you probably heard about this horrible event. Indeed, it was one of the first ethnical cleansing. Acadians were established in Nova Scotia with the foundation of Port Royal in 1604. They were neutral, they were ignored by France and developed a great relationship with indigenous people. They even felt safe when the treaty was signed. In 1713, Acadia became a British colony with the Treaty of Utrecht. However, the Acadians were allowed to keep their lands. During the war of the Spanish succession that occurred between 1710 and 1714, the British captured Port Royal. In 1720, Great Britain were already planning to expulse Acadians. Forty years after the treaty, Acadians refused to sign an unconditional oath of allegiance to Britain if a war happens between Great Britain and France. Very few Acadians were participating in various military actions against the British. As a result, the British wanted to eliminate any threat. They decided to cut the supply that the Acadians were providing to the Louisville Fortress. In 1754, the French and Indian War occurred. With the French win in the Ohio Valley, the British colony were under pressure. The British governor, Charles Lawrence, discusses with William Turley, governor of Massachusetts, about the possibility of obtaining reinforcement by replacing Acadians with Anglo-American settlers. In 1755, 18,000 soldiers from New England arrived in Acadia. French forts were captured, weapons and boats were confiscated. Catholic missionaries and priests were arrested and sent to England. In July of 1755, Lawrence urges to take a oath of unconditional allegiance to England. It was refused. French men were attracted to the local church and fort. They were arrested and put in boats to be expulsed. They were divided by age group and gender. Family members were also separated. They were often shot when they were trying to escape. Many Acadians were deported to American states. Some of them will leave for Saint-Domingue, a French colony in the Caribbean. Louisiana was also a great option due to the cultural similarities. They were later known as Cajun people. Virginia and North Carolina refused them. They were then sent to England, but some died during the trip. Some Acadians will travel across the continent to find lost family members. In total, more than 12,000 of Acadians were deported and around 8,000 died before the landing due to the disease, lack of nutrition, cold, and shipwrecks. To give you an idea, before the deportations, Acadians were around 18,000. Today, Acadians all over the world celebrate their beautiful heritage with pride. They are a great example of resilience. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned a little bit more about this subject. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and bye!